For today's lesson, we will be discussing about the quotient rule of differentiation. So last time we discussed about the product rule. So this time we will be uh, focusing now with the quotient rule of differentiation. So let's discuss what is the quotient rule. So let's say you have f and b. So let f and g be differentiable functions. The quotient of f and g is also differentiable at all values of x for which g prime of x is not equal to zero. So you will use the quotient rule if you have these two functions that are divided together. Or you can also use the quotient rule if you have the, let's say, two terms that are being divided. So its derivative is given by a d over dx of f of x over g of x is equal to g of x times the f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over um, g of x squared. So this is how we apply the quotient rule wherein f of x is the numerator and then g of x is your denominator. Now to easily remember this. Like what we did with the product rule, there is also a format that we can just follow. So, let's say, high is the numerator, and then we have low, which is the denominator. Okay? So, we have high over low. Now, to get the derivative of this, what we can do is, we will still be following this format, but we will be using high and low, so that we can easily remember. So, since this is g of x, so we have low, and then f prime of x, so d high. So it's low d high, low times the derivative of high, minus f of x, so that's high. And then g prime of x, that means you have to get the derivative of g of x, or the derivative of low, so that's d low. Again, this one is low d high minus high d low. So, low is the denominator times the derivative of high or the numerator minus high times the derivative of low. Okay? And then, all over low squared. So, this is the format that you can remember so that you can easily remember our quotient rule. So it's low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So let's try it with some examples. So let's say we have f of x equals x minus 2 all over x plus 3. So we set this as our high, or the numerator is the high, and then the denominator is low. Again, what we will be following is the low d high minus high d low all over low squared. So we have here f prime of x is equal to, now let's just follow low, so that is x plus 3, d high. That means we're getting the derivative of high, which is the numerator, x minus 2, minus high, so x minus 2, d low, or the derivative of the denominator all over low squared all over low squared and then from here all you have to do is just to simplify so we have x plus 3 now get the derivative of x minus 2 so that will just be 1 so we have here um, a variable so the derivative of a variable is the numerical coefficient again i explained this to you last time and then we have a constant so the derivative is zero so the derivative is zero minus and then x minus two derivative of x plus three so that is also one all over x plus three cube x plus three squared equals so this is x plus three minus x minus 2 all over x plus 3 squared. So we just have to simplify this. So we have x plus 3 in the numerator. Now here you have to distribute the, uh, the negative to x and minus 2. So that will be negative x plus 2 all over. And then let's uh, simplify the x plus 3 squared or let's expand that. So that will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then all you have to do is just to simplify our numerator. So x minus x, so that will be cancelled. So you will be left with 3 and 2. So that is 5. 5 all over 
x squared plus 6x plus 9. So this is now the derivative of our function. So again, that is how you use the quotient rule. So of course, if you have two terms that are being divided, so you just have to follow low d high minus high d low all over low squared. Another example. So let's say we have here x f of x equals 3x squared all over 2x squared minus 9. So this is high and then this is our low. f prime of x is equal to low d high, low d high, derivative of high which is 3x squared minus high d low. High is 3x squared d low, derivative of the low which is 2x squared minus 9. all over low squared, which is 2x squared minus 9. So, squared. And then simplify, you get the derivative. So, 2x squared minus 9, derivative of 3x squared, that is uh, 6x. So, that is 6x. So, we use here the constant multiple rule, also the power rule. Minus, so we have 3x squared times this one get the derivative so 4x and then derivative of 9 is 0 so we have 4x there all over then expand 2x squared minus 9 that will give us 4x uh, raised to the fourth power minus 36x squared plus 81 and then, all you have to do is to simplify the numerator, multiply. So, you have 12x cubed minus um, 54x minus, and then this one is 12x cubed. All over 4x raised to 4 minus 36x squared plus 81. And then, you just have to simplify the numerator. So, we can cancel out the 12x cubed. So, we will be just left with negative 54x all over 4x raised to 4 minus 36x squared plus 81. So, we can just write the negative in front. So, f prime of x is equal to negative uh, 54x all over 4x raised to 4 minus 36x squared plus 81. And then, we now have the derivative of our function. And for our last example, so we have h of x equals x plus 4 times 2x minus 9 all over x plus 3. So this will be the high and then this will be the low. Now, you have two options here. First, you can just leave the numerator as is. Uh, x plus 4 times 2x minus 9. But... If you leave it like that, the tendency is you will apply the quotient rule and at the same time, you will apply product rule. So, for us to have a shorter um, solution, what we can do is we can just multiply first the numerator so that we will be just using quotient rule. So that there will be no need for us to use the product rule. So, let's multiply the numerator so our new numerator will be 2x squared minus x minus 36 all over x plus 3 so this is now the high and then this is now our low but again if you just want to use the numerator as is it's okay but take note you have to use the product rule along the way so here we now have the new numerator or the simplified numerator so let's now write each prime of x is equal to low d high so low d high derivative of high which is 2x squared minus x minus 36 minus high d low so 2x squared minus x minus 36 times the derivative high d low so, which is x plus 3. All over, okay, um, low squared. 
So let's write here x plus 3. Then derivative of 2x squared minus x minus 36. So that will be 4x minus 1. And then minus. So we have here 2x squared minus x minus 36. And then the derivative of x plus 3 is 1. All over. Then let's expand x plus 3. That is x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then from here, let's multiply this 2. So that will be 4x squared plus 11x minus 3 minus. And here we can distribute. So that will be minus 2x squared plus x plus 36. All over the denominator x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then from here, we can now simplify the numerator. So we can combine similar terms. So let's just write here the last um, equation that we have there. That is 4x squared plus 11x minus 3 minus 2x squared plus x plus 36 all over x squared plus 6x plus 9. So combine similar terms. So that can be 4x squared and negative 2x squared. So that will give us 2x squared. Then 11x plus x is 12x. Then negative 3 plus 36, that is positive 33. And then all over the denominator, which is x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then that's it. You now have the derivative of the given function. Again, you can just leave the numerator as is, wherein you have two binomials multiplied together. But again, if you will let, let it like that, um, you have to use the product rule along the way. So you're going to use product rule inside the quotient rule. So just a tip, you can just simply multiply. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about the quotient rule and how to use it in um, solving for the derivative of functions and see you next time.